So this is part two of day five. Um, I had to break this one into two parts because I can't upload really big files from the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. So uh, if you missed part one, you can click on the annotation on the screen. Otherwise, here we are. We took the top, we took the gondola up to the top of the mountain, stopped for a family photo, and that's that's what the gamer tags look like. <laughs> Once we got there, there were all these guys lined up waiting to take us down the hill in these wicker sleds. Now the wicker sleds were really cool, and look at these guys. They just <laughs> they're ready for battle. They're ready to do this thing. So this is what it looks like when you go. So these are the senior gamer tags. <laughs> you can see the street is like slick or something. We'll talk about that more later. But these two guys, they, they kind of kick them off like uh, the beginning of a bobsled run. And I captured them making their way around the first corner. For the second one, I'm going to turn the volume on so you can hear my son say we. <laughs> So it's funny, my daughter, before we started this, said that uh, she wasn't very good at this and she was nervous. And this is actually my third take at starting this because, <laughs> because I, apparently I suck at commentating videos. There's There we are. So, so what we're looking at here is the footage I captured on the way down the hill in Madeira, or the mountain, or whatever you call it. I think it was just the hill. The hill? <laughs> you going with hill? And uh, and in the sled are my daughter and I, so I figured in the commentary would also be my daughter and I. That's the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, hey, the world wants to know if gingers have souls. Um, It doesn't matter if I have a soul, because I can always just take yours. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so, <laughs> are you, like, part devil child? Who says I'm not? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um... Uh, hey, did you like the sled ride? I love the sled ride. What was your coolest part of the sled ride? Um, we would always turn sideways, and then I could hear Colin going, yay! Yeah, that was cool. So uh, Colin and Mom, mm -hmm. Jackie in my case, yeah, yeah, <laughs> they were they were right in front of us, and we kind of caught them. Uh, we did catch up to them in the end, and they were right behind. Why do you think we caught them? Are we just superior sled riders? That's just the way it is. This is how it is. You know, so during the sled ride, I felt almost guilty. Did, did you have those same feelings? Guilty? I guess not. Because, like, see, oh, look, look. So right now, these guys are pushing us, right? I, I turn the camera around. You can see we're both capping, like father, like daughter. <laughs> um, but they're they're pushing us down the hill. The guys are working hard. Uh, mm -hmm. At one point, it gets flat, and they, they actually stop and start pulling us along the road. Yeah, I guess a little bit there. but. And we're not royalty. Not yet. Not, not yet. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> to keep you grounded, baby. But, like, I just, I don't know. To me, it was like, I, why are we deserving of this kind of treatment? Why are we in a sled being pulled along the street? Because we paid for it? Yeah, I guess there's that. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, like, it, as they're doing all this work for us, I got to feeling like, like, I don't know. Like, I, I guess I should pay them. We did. So, but, mm. I don't know. I just felt like... I don't know, like my position in life shouldn't really be this high. <laughs> you are YouTube famous. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's that. <laughs> so, um, uh, oh, look, we're cruising right now. Ooh. Yeah, this was the fast part. So oh, at, yeah. at, at times I pointed... You can the... see like the stuff on the road. Uh huh. And there's there's running water on the right from time to time. And you yeah. can, we were like moving as fast as water traveling down a mountain. Yes, we were. Yes, yeah, so that was kind of cool. So how's the cruise going so far for you? Uh, Good. Very good. A lot of guys have mentioned that we don't have as much footage of you as we have of Colin. Well, that's because I try to stay away from them a lot. I, I don't really stick with them. I go to the edge. Yeah. Not with my friends. Is that because you don't love me? It's not that I don't love you. I just love hanging out with all my friends uh -huh. a lot. So I, I hang out with you all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't with them. These are new friends, though. Yes. Yeah, they're on the cruise. People yeah. you just met. Yeah. Well, but that's the nature of the cruise, right? So you've yeah. been on... How many, have we been on eight cruises? Somewhere. Something like that, seven yeah. or eight. And, uh, oh, look, now we're being pulled. This is the part where I felt extra guilty. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the, the nature of these cruises is that you kind of like make big bonds and spend all day and night with your friends over in the edge. I have found that you make friends a lot quicker and sometimes even better friends in these short days because it's all sped up. It's like spending these two weeks, I think it's going to be somewhere between like a year worthy of like friendship with all my other friends. Like it takes a while to get used to my other friends 
but it doesn't take as long to get with my cruise friends. And that's just because you're hanging out all day from like 10 a.m. Yeah. to 1 a.m. Yeah. So, uh, and, and what do you do at the edge? It depends. I think what's I'm the about edge? To, uh, the edge is the 11 to 13-year-old area. Uh huh. Of course, some 14-year-old guys stay in the edge and some 13-year-old girls go up to the 14 to 17. I'm not thing. such a big fan of the 14-year-old guys. It's one guy. Don't worry about him. Don't, don't even. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so the edge is this area where 11 to 13-year-olds hang out mm-hmm. and their counselors. Three of them that... Switch that's what a chaperone stuff. you guys and yeah. make sure you're behaving mm-hmm. and they set up the activities and the games and stuff yeah um i think i'm about to miss lava flow actually what's lava flow <laughs> they won't tell us but i think it's this thing they did like a couple cruises do you think it's the, the thing with one? the vinegar and the yeah. baking soda and you shoot stuff out of the lava volcano it kind of oozes shooting they, shooting? they put stuff on the ceiling because it's going to shoot really really so, are 7,000-year-olds allowed to hang out at the edge? Another day. Another day. <laughs> <laughs> but if stuff is going to shoot and hit the ceiling, then I'd... Sorry, but there's this magical force built by Bob the Magical Invisible <clears throat> Flying Turtle, which is a joke between all my edge friends and I. Um, and parents can't get in. Yeah. So, you can't actually walk in there and, and stuff. But I yeah. try not to embarrass my kids. You already do enough of that. I do enough of that. Yeah. And um, what else was I going to... Oh, oh, the other thing is, like, I want to get some video and, like, show the edge to everyone so they know, like, you where you come are. Inside. I can come inside. No. But it seems wrong to videotape other people's children and put them on the internet. It's wrong to videotape your own children and put it on the internet. What are you talking about? Oh, come on. You like being on the web. There's a difference between it being right and liking it. <laughs> so we're almost at the end here i think we're there it is we're catching up to jackie and colin they're just coming out of their sled mm-hmm. and uh well i appreciate your time and do gingers have souls yes no no but i can take yours so it evens out all right so there you have it you got your answer thank you for your help you're welcome bye hopey bye so now you've met hope for those of you who didn't see our dual com what was probably almost a year ago i think and uh, after that we went on a bus tour and checked out the rest of merdina i think that's how you pronounce it shucks i, I keep messing it up but uh along the way i took a whole bunch of pictures and the bus tour to be honest with you it's a little bit like being stuck in traffic you're just kind of sitting there waiting for an awful long time and this picture coming up at the end that to me sums up the whole thing really well with with hope barely awake and the two of us kind of bored just waiting to be left off so so that was the bus tour after the bus tour we went back got some food on the ship and what i'll call some sort of late lunch and hope did a whole bunch of homework colin did his homework too And from there, I I pretty much slacked the rest of the day. I can hardly remember it. I might have taken a nap, watched some TV, went to dinner, and just uh, wasted my time away. Which, I don't know. On one hand, kind of sounds like a waste of vacation. On the other, sounds like the perfect vacation. And that wraps up uh, day five. So I hope you guys enjoyed the videos, and I'll see you tomorrow.